This two-headed Mexican black king snake was hatched by my friends at Big Squeeze Constrictors. Occasionally, an egg will have twins, and in very rare cases, the snake twins will not separate fully, resulting in conjoined twins. This hatchling survived for one week, but then like most snakes who with this condition, unfortunately passed away. These are the x-rays that we took of the snake. As you can see, the two heads diverged just a short distance down. I then performed a necropsy, or dissection of the body, which can be pretty graphic. If you do not want to see what's inside, now is your chance to look away. I started by cutting along the ventral scales, trying hard not to rupture the organs beneath. After gently separating the sides to peek into the body, I was shocked. The snake seemed to be completely missing multiple organs, including the liver, spleen, and gonads. After looking at the structures while they were attached to the body, I then decided to remove them to get a better look. Sometimes pathologists call this the pluck. In reptiles and birds, all the organs can usually be cleanly pulled out in one motion. Now that I had them out and could finally trace them, I confirmed that only one side, the left, possessed the trachea that went to the snake's single lung. The snake possessed two esophaguses and stomachs, which seemed to join into a single GI tract just before the gallbladder, which is green. The rest of the small and large intestine were very underdeveloped. Surprisingly though, it did have hemipenes present, which you can see me popping out by gently pressing caudal to the vent. If you've seen my other snake necropsies, you might remember that snakes possess two phalluses, which are purely for sperm transportation and not urination. I was truly shocked that the snake made it entire week alive given what it looked like on the inside. However, I'm not surprised as reptiles have very slow metabolisms and are known to survive in extreme circumstances for some time. Just another example as to why reptiles are so incredible.